Hi everyone, you're watching Exo Photography, my name is Daniel. This video is all about showing how my cable routing is done. Everything starts from my electrical cabinet on the wall there. I have a simple mean well 230 volt to 12 volt power supply. I also have my USB cables run from the mount underneath the floor and to the computer. And these are two USB cables. One cable is for the mount itself and one USB cable is routed through my mount to the hub. These two cables here is uh, powered to the mount and one cable is called GALB. It contains power to the saddle plate and all my accessories. So let's check the back side of the mount on the saddle plate and follow the cables through it. So on the back side we have two cables. Let's start off with this spiral cable here. This is the GALB cable I was talking about. This is powering all my accessories. The other cable here is a fan cable which connects to the back of my telescope. The spiral cable is uh, coming down to here. I made a Y split. So we have 12 volt into the pocket power box. I also have 12 volt continuing in this um, sleeve here, uh, which I will talk a bit more about later. On to the other side where the camera and the filter wheel is. The pocket power box is uh, outputting a, of course it has USB cable. Um, we have a temperature probe. We have the power output, the on and off possibilities for my camera and also the dew heater. And I'm using sleeved cables because it looks nicer. Also I attached these kind of clips here to keep everything nice and tidy. This is the other side of the saddle plate. I have the USB going through the mount and it comes out here. I have a USB cable connected to the Prima Luce Lab Sesto Senso, the focus motor. I also have a USB cable connected to my ZWO camera. From the camera, the internal hub in the camera, I've connected the filter wheel. The third USB cable is connected to the power box on the other side. Some of you don't have the possibility to run the cables through the mount, but it's so, so nice to have that opportunity uh, because you don't have to worry about cable snag or anything when the, the telescope is moving. From the electrical cabinet, I have been running 12 volts uh, into this junction box. It contains uh, fuses and also quick connectors so I can easily use 12 volts to uh, my GALV and my uh, 12 volt power to the mount. I also added a voltage display here so I can easily see what voltage my uh, power supplies is uh, outputting. I also want to mention the cable sleeve I have. This is uh, from Soba. It's called Blue Lounge. It contains of a, a Y splitter, some uh, starts and ends for the sleeve. It's a uh, double sided tape and it really creates a perfect nice look when you have to bundle uh, several cables together. So I can really really highly recommend this one to get a nice feel for your mountain telescope cable routing. One more thing before we end this video and that is what do I do with uh, the cables uh, which might be too long? Simply, I cut them to length. Before I use my cables, and this is quite important, make sure the cables you are using is uh, specified for the right uh, amp drawage. These Y splits you can buy off Amazon and eBay is way too thin. When I used one of these, my camera warned me to low voltage. I couldn't, for the top of my head, figure out what was going on before I accidentally touched one of these cables and it was hot, really, really hot. Almost so I uh, burnt my fingers, make sure to use the right gauge. When I cut my cables, um, there is a simple solution and that is to use um, these kind of connectors. These have simple sockets 
and uh, you just tighten them down with a screwdriver. Or you can go as I do and I use these kind of connectors. You can simply just unscrew them, thread them on the cable and solder the cable end to this and then you just do it like this. And if you are like me, you care about how things look, um, you can also sleeve the cables with uh, these kind of sleeves. Uh, you can buy these in uh, different colors, length, uh, thickness. And if you use in sleeves, make sure to use also shrink tubes like this. These are also available in different colors. That was it for this video. Please subscribe. If you have any questions, just type them below and I'll try to answer them. Have a good day. Bye.